Hey there, Scott Wilkinson here at Cedia Expo 2013. I'm in the Storm Audio booth talking with Yves Trelleron about Storm Audio and a very interesting thing that I found out that uh, you have licensed the Auro technology, which Barco uses in the commercial cinema, for the home. Yes, we, our specialty is the 3D audio system. So we develop a 16-channel processor that is basically the same processor base that we use the other uh, division of the company are using for the cinema. Uh -huh. So that's the residential part and we obviously support all the residential suite for Dolby and uh, DTS and we just signed a license with our 3D, the famous uh, 3D uh, cinema company for having the upmix and the native decoding of 3D formats. Now, uh, Oro is not typically encoded onto a Blu-ray at this point, right? Most most of the now the new new movie are designed to be uh, to be with 3D encoding. It's not yet available in uh, in Blu-ray, but there is a plan that we heard from Oro that there will be 30 or 40 Blu-ray encoded next year oh, with fantastic. a native Oro uh, 3D. Uh, and in the meantime, this processor can upconvert okay, 5.1 yeah. or 7.1 into 16 channels. Basically, the, the, the more traditional, it depends on your speaker configuration. It starts to 9.1 and could be 11.1 or 13.1 with the up mix. And uh, this includes one overhead channel, uh, at least the Barco Oro professional cinema system, includes one audio channel to the overhead speakers. There might be more than one, but there's only one channel coming down from above. Is that yeah, correct? Ba basically, if you have a 7 plus 1, the minimum speaker configuration you have to add is additional eight channel to left front, left right, and surround the two surround. Right. Additionally, for a better immersion, you can add the top center that we call voice of God. Yes. <laughs> and, and a top top front center. Oh, okay. So a, a, a center height. Yeah, center height. So. Can, do you also have left and right height? Yes, that's, okay. that's mandatory. The left and right height ah. plus the surround height are mandatory. Yeah. And after that, for a better immersion, you add the center height and the top middle channel just over the head. And I assume that the algorithm, uh, how does it t determine what goes into those extra channels if you're only feeding it 5.1 or 7.1? Well, it's, it's, it's a traditional up mix, so that extract the, the reverberation signal include into the code to, with an algorithm to simulate the 3D immersion. Mm -hmm. And uh, is this available now? The product is available hardware-based. To get the RO 3D availability, it's mid-December. I'm sorry? Mid-December. Ah, mid-December. Uh, RO had just released the, their first decoder to be implemented in the, in the processor and provide this this week. Ah, okay. And what's the cost? The the food the, the sixteen channel start depending on at one three thousand euros so t so no twelve thousand euros mm -hmm. and uh, around thirteen to fourteen thousand dollars mm -hmm. and the limited version that is a seven plus four that can manage the mix but not the full three D is at ten thousand dollars okay all right and uh, I believe we also have an amplifier that pairs yeah. with these yeah. basically we have uh, twelve model of amplifier multi channels from 85 watts, 200 watts, 350, and even 1200 watts for the, for the subwoofer in different configurations to, to fit with the 3D uh, requirement in, in amplification. Now, uh, is Storm Audio, do you have dealers in the United States? How, how do people get them if they... Yeah, we, have, uh, we, we are distributed at the moment by uh, Procelia USA. Oh, yeah. That we have a relationship uh, for a long time. Uh, before uh -huh. and uh, we just launched the, the, the brand in the in this market. Fantastic. Thanks so much for talking okay. with us. Thank you.